Hey, what's up everybody? Steve with the Penguin Outdoors YouTube channel here. And today, I'm making a burn barrel. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Now, there's a lot of videos out there on how to make burn barrels. Some of them use a ton of tools and welders and just, they get all kinds of crazy with it. This one's gonna be super simple. You literally don't need anything except like a sawzall or some kind of rip saw with a metal blade. And you can use a drill and a drill bit to make holes, but that's not how I'm gonna do it. Uh, I prefer a different method. Today we're gonna use the noisy cricket, to make our holes. So quick tip. So. If you don't know what was in the barrel or you don't know what's currently in the barrel, like maybe you look inside there and there's some kind of fluid in there or it smells like it might have been diesel or, you know, whatever, um, you can wash it and all that other stuff. But before you cut into it, I mean, you, you obviously want to do something. So a pro tip is to just fill it with water before you cut it. When you fill it with water, that should contain the vapors and it should make it safe for you to, to make your cuts and stuff. This one had some kind of motor oil in it. Uh, the guy had already cut the top off of it for me, so I'm just skipping that part altogether. Um, he left a little bit of a shelf on the inner lids that you could put the lid back on it if you wanted to. I won't, but you can. So basically, you just need a burn barrel with the top cut off, and then you need some holes in the bottom, and excuse me, some holes in the side for air to get in through, for ash to fall out through the bottom. Makes it burn super hot, and that's really all there is to it. So this is a pretty simple video and it's pretty windy out today. So I don't know if I'll get to burn in it or not. So I might upload this video today or I might wait a few days and upload it when it's actually burning, but doesn't matter. So we're gonna head outside and I'm gonna make some holes in the burn barrel. <music> hose it out and everything else there's very minimal fluid in there um, it's been upside down it's been airing out he cut the top off of it and it's clear that nothing inside ignited so I'm slightly paranoid that it could catch on fire when the first bullet goes through not so much that I'm not gonna do it mind you but slightly concerned now, a lot of people use a 22 I'm using the noisy cricket today just because I haven't shot it in a while it's a nine millimeter. This is my, uh, I call it my kayak gun. It's a little Caltech. The trigger on this thing sucks. It is, generally speaking, a complete piece of shit. That's why I call it my kayak gun because if it falls off the side of the boat one day, it's not gonna break my heart. So the first shot's gonna happen from behind the camera. That's how shitty it is. Both bullets in the same spot, and I was not aiming in the same spot. This trigger is like the worst. So, for the sake of all the people that are gonna comment about my shooting, I don't really care. I'm probably gonna ignore 99% of you, if not all of you. But I just wanna show you it's empty okay it's empty I want to show you the trigger on this thing if you've never fired I think it's p12 I can't remember what the hell this thing is oh it's p11 it's a p11 9 millimeter if you've never shot the Caltech p11 you can't quite understand just how shitty this trigger is it's a very heavy trigger it's a very long pull it just it it sucks I typically like to use the tip of my finger on a trigger pull, but with this thing, I honestly go to the first fold here. But just to give you an idea how long the travel is, it's about a 13 pound trigger. It literally will start to hurt the muscles in your elbow before the fucking thing goes off. 
I hate this thing <laughs> with a passion. But we're making holes, so it's a good day. Actually, that's probably more holes than you need. I'm gonna put a few more in the bottom, just cause I feel like shooting it. If you haven't noticed, I haven't even been counting how many rounds go in or how many I've been shooting. There's no science to this. Really, you only need five, six holes in the bottom and then one, two, three down the side in like four different areas of the side. I just wanted to shoot the thing. Like more holes, the better to me. Huh? There you go. Here's a burn barrel. The reason I like to shoot the bottom first is when you lay it down and shoot the bottom, you get holes through the side also. And especially with a nine millimeter, when you shoot through the bottom, they're coming out the side at an angle. So you get a couple bigger holes mixed in there too. Like I said, most people use a 22. I've found the burn is better with a larger caliber bullet. There you go. Lots of holes, plenty of holes. See how you get some bigger holes there? Those are the exit wounds from shooting through the bottom. No science to this at all. Don't need that many holes, don't need them in any specific spacing. Some people might say it's too many holes, too little holes, who cares? Uh, the guy who cut this out, so I would have done this a little different. But since he offered to cut it off for me, I wasn't going to argue with him. I would have cut right up against this lip so that you don't have this extra metal. And uh, I would have then taken a file, like a bastard file, and just gone around. Um, I'm going to end up taking a file at some point and running around this thing. Just because your arms are going in and out. And if you don't think you'll cut yourself on that, you're wrong. Or at least maybe you're not like me. I've got three different cuts between my two hands right now from using a knife to open Amazon boxes. I'm just accident prone, so I'll give you a good shot at the bottom here. There she is. All the burning you could want. That thing will burn like a big old torch. Not today though. Definitely too windy. There's the old burn barrel. It finally died. All right, y'all. See you next time. Well, we hoped you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more great videos from the Penguin Outdoors YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. And while you're at it, hit that little bell so you get notified when new content is available. Please leave us a comment down below and let us know what you thought. And don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.